Uh, I'm moving on to the exotic backpacks. So you've got your Costas Go Bag and you've got the Memento. Your Costas Go Bag, uh, the quote says, you never know what you're going to need, so it's best to be prepared. E for a Costa Urban Spelunker. Uh, it comes with skill tier, skill haste and skill damage, and one in the hand. Throwing a grenade refunds it and grants one skill tier for 15 seconds. Grants overcharge if already at skill tier 6. And that can happen every 60 seconds. And then a second talent, two in the bag. So you get one extra armor kit, capacity, three grenade capacity, plus 25% ammo capacity, plus 10% repair skills, plus 10% status effects. Again, it's an exotic I haven't really used. I've never found a build that I can incorporate it into. Um, it's something I might have to look at in the future um, because there's better skill um, damage. For example, the waveform holster is better for skill damage. So I don't know how I would fit into a build. If I ever think about it, I may make a video on it. Uh, it it's just a um, to get your Costas Go Bag, you can get it from any clan box. So, like the um, the the locked boxes that you get the keys for. So, when you're doing like Grand Washington Hotel, um, you've got the two hyena boxes. Um, Lincoln Memorial, you've got the two True Sons boxes. Any clan box, you've got a chance of this dropping for you. It's the only way I'm aware you can get it. I don't know if it's ever dropped in the open world from the loot pool. If it has, let me know in the comments. Uh, because that can help other people if they're looking for it. Uh, moving on to the Memento. This is currently one of the rewards on the uh, Season 6. Uh, rewards track. So... It's not lip. so let me if I can scroll all the way up. I keep going. I believe it's number 90. So, as you can see, there when you get to season level 90, you can get the memento backpack, uh, which is one of the easier ways of doing it. But if I go back to the backpack itself. Uh, it comes with an inscription I took from those who watched, hunted and collected until only their shadows remained. Now my watch has ended, so yours may begin. And that's an inscription by an unknown author. Uh, this is a really good backpack because it comes with all three major core attributes, weapon damage, armour and skill tier. And it comes with a talent, kill confirmed. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provides both a short and long term buff. The first of which scales the number of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. So you can get extra 5% weapon damage depending on how many reds you've got. 10% bonus armor depending on how many blues you've got. 5% skill efficiency depending on how many yellows you've got. And skill efficiency includes skill haste. Um, and all basically all of them. So skill damage, repair skills, skill haste. Uh, status effects and then for every trophy collected you gain an additional 1% weapon damage 1% skill efficiency and 0.1% armor regen for 300 seconds so that and you get maximum of 30 stacks so if, if you were to collect uh, th 30 stacks you would get an extra 30% weapon damage 30% skill efficiency and 3% armor regeneration for 5 minutes that's a really good strong backpack uh, especially if you're doing hard, harder difficulty because you get that little extra uh, bonus from the weapon damage skill skill damage and arm regen uh, the memento backpack it's an open world loot rng based backpack so you just look for where the backpack is targeted loot whether it's mission or open area and 
you can basically just farm as long as the RNG gods are looking down on you. I hope this video has been helpful and I will catch you in the next one.